Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the latest version of DAF file. I've already got this downloaded in Proxmox, so we are going to go ahead and create the new virtual machine and check it out. Create VM, DAF file. We'll give it a 32 gig disk to start off with. Two CPU cores. And we'll give it four gigs of RAM. And we'll go ahead and get it started up. Escape to skip. Oops. All right. Doesn't like that. Okay. All right. So it's booted and it's telling us to use the web interface at 74.182. All right, so you got your basic settings on the side. That hasn't really changed much. We'll go, come down to settings. And the key here is that, okay, so we've got a blank QEMU disk here, and we can leave the partition table and bootloader alone. Obviously, you want to change this if you're using newer hardware to match your needs. We'll go ahead and say install. All right, so system name is gonna be DAF file. File system is enabled. Time zone is UTC. Local UI, let's enable the player control application. Graphics driver, I think we can leave alone. We're not going to use the audio devices at the moment because this is a VM and we don't have anything hooked up specifically for that purpose. We can go through the rest of these settings. CD ripping. So the default target drive is music. That's good. Flat compression level. Zero is fast. Eight is best. And I think that will do it there. Networking. We're going to leave it on DHCP for the moment. Power is good. And then if we come down to storage, I think we're good there. So at this point, we'd be ready to go ahead and start ripping CDs. All right, we're back in our DAF file system. I hooked up a USB CD drive. And so now I will insert a disc and we'll see about ripping it. So first we'll go to the CD ripper and I'll insert the disc. All right, and as you can see, it has the art for the CD. It's got the target disc selected and we can just select rip CD. As you can see, our rip has finished. We've got the option to eject the disk. We can view the log and it gives us information about how long it took to rip everything and other information about the disk. All right, I did wanna show one other thing that I thought was especially interesting with this new version. And since I haven't played with DAF file for a little while, uh, this is something that I may very well make use of in the future. If we jump into settings under networking, you can now join your DAF file box to zero tier, which means you can have access to your music outside of your home. This would be great if you are 
taking a trip, you can use your cell phone for internet access and pump it through the speakers in your car. And it just makes it nice. You don't have to worry about paying for music services. So again, something to take into consideration there. The other thing that you may want to look at is under storage, you can set up network drives. And it's got the more common options of SIFs for Windows networking, NFS for Unix and Linux networking, but also SSHFS and FTP file system. And finally, I wanted to show that your DAF file will show up on the network. And if you go to music, it will show first by artist, then by album name with the year first. And then you've got your list of tracks in FLAC format. For those not familiar, FLAC is the free lossless audio codec. And it is a high quality version of what's on your CD. All right, so that really wraps up our look at, at DAF file. This is the current version that was released in January of 2021. And while that may seem a little old, for the express purpose of what it's doing and acting as an appliance specifically, this update brings some good features and is worth considering. And that will bring us to the end of another video. If you got something out of this or you are going to be giving DAF file a spin, let me know down in the comments. If there's some feature of DAF file that I didn't demonstrate that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, thank you all for watching. Happy computing and have a great day.